really mm-hmm. authentic queer stories. And in fanfic, we do. So popular media is public taste as it's dictated now. Fanfic, you're able to try to go beyond that to the, whatever the next wave is going to be. Mm-hmm. So now we know why we write fan fiction. Let's go back to our friend Simon Sinek and talk about how we write fan fiction, right? Has anyone ever heard of this quote by Tom Edit Sober? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So uh, <laughs> if you're not good at this, 
Yes. <laughs>
Um, I was going to add one more note on writer's block. Yeah. I don't know other people who are out there like me, but I have ADD, mm -hmm. um, and I have found that that is a that it was a huge contributor to my writer's block. The inability to break a, a task like a story down into small chunks. Um, when I set out to write my novel, I spent two years not writing it because my brain literally could not find a way to break writing it. I thought to myself, well, I can't write a novel in a day, so I can't. Um, and that's a function of the ADD. And so if that is something that you struggle with as well, like that, just that is a thing that can happen. And like there's also different ways to do, cope with that as yeah. well. If, so I mentioned depression. I should have just put mental health on there. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Sometimes when I'm writing, I deal with the struggle of knowing that show don't tell is a good thing, uh -huh. but also sometimes less can be more. Yes. Mm. But I also wonder, well, am I just being lazy? <laughs> well, I got actually with a section of this presentation that got cut because I was going to talk about description and I had this gift of Tracy Morgan saying, was your description of the sandwich necessary for understanding what happened? <laughs> Super girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. JJ's. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 